Second desk fan I'll be uh, demonstrating here. It's a 1960s something uh, oscillating GE desk fan. It's got a really cool molded back. It looks like it's like a car from the late 50s. Um, for, for all the fans I have, which included the Lasco, when I first found this fan, the logo is sideways. Every single fan I find has the logo sideways or upside down or something. It's never perfectly straight. And the only one I fixed was for this one because it looked pretty much brand new otherwise. All the other fans I have, they look old. And when they're beat up, I like to have them keep the character that they kind of have. So I just kind of left that there. Also, I don't know how to change it. So let's turn it on. You can adjust the height of it by doing a screw and then it uh, changes the uh, height of it. And apparently you can like hang this onto the ceiling because it's got like a hook there. Oh. Huh. I could hang it from the ceiling. I should try that someday. Well, anyway, here it is turned on. Look at that. It looks like it goes further that way, but I think that's an illusion. I think. Anyway, well, let's have a, uh, let's have an oscillating duel. Fight! That feels really nice. The only problem with this one here, besides some of its crappy paint job, is that the uh, hook that undoes the uh, oscillation broke off, and it didn't work, and the only way to get it working was to make it permanently oscillate. So you can't have it still like this one. So, like, I'd use this one if it, um... If it could stop oscillating, I honestly don't like oscillating fans because then I, I have to move to be with the cool. I like it directly on me. So, uh, there it is. This 1960-something GE fan. It'll be cool for, like, a detective's thing or something if I ever make a video like that. There it is. And if you turn it off once it's at the corner, it'll end. Thing. 